Hello, my beautiful little lion cubs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I did start posting all 12 signs on there. Um, I also have a Virgo and Cancer-only channel. If you would like to check those out, links are below. Reading can be vice versa flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation please be sure to like share comment and subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my readings post if you're interested in um if you're interested in learning how to read tarot or if you're interested in uh, starting a tarot channel you can touch blah, blah, blah. you can check out my tarot tutorial the link is below it's about two and a half hours long if you'd like to book a reading uh the link is below um, if you would like to check out my uh, tarot and oracle decks, the link is below. As of right now, uh, Spirit Shield Oracle and Spirit Shield Tarot are currently buy one, get one free. We've got Royal Rose Tarot, which is 20% uh, off. This one's running low in stock. And we've got Raven's Rose Oracle, which is um, out of stock. Hopefully we'll get it back in stock soon. Leo, I pray to God that your reading is peaceful because every reading today has been a very chaotic day for those of you who don't know i'm doing some remodeling in my house and good lord jesus today has been freya would not stop barking at everybody all morning it has been an extremely chaotic day so i am hoping that i can get through this reading without having to pause it let's just keep our fingers crossed okay all right let's see what we have here for my beautiful leos my little lion cubs spirit tell me about leo sun moon rising and venus signs please what energy is leo's person in what energy is leo's person in okay so we've got summer we have tradition and secret love okay so leo i feel all right there's an issue here Leo, someone here I feel is married and in love with a third party and this person's birthday could be in the summertime. That's what I'm feeling here, Leo. Leo, this is supposed to be your person's energy. So I feel like you could be married to this person or this person wants high levels of commitment with you and either your person is in love with a third party or your person thinks that you are in love with a third party energy. You got to take it as it resonates, baby. All right, let's see what we have here. What deck do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this one. All right, Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Two of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so Leo, the first thing that I'm seeing here is that there is possibly an Earth sign that was cut out of the picture. A Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. And I feel that with the Star card here, Aquarian Energy and the Eight of Cups, it made your person very happy that you walked away from this earth sign or chose them over this earth sign. But with the chariot here and the nine of pentacles, it looks like there is also someone else in the picture. Uh, this person, because we have here summertime and of course, Virgo, Leo, hold on one moment. Okay, I'm so sorry, Virgo. Uh, Virgo, Leo. Oh, my Lanta. This day has been ridiculous. Okay, so Leo, I feel like your person was intimidated possibly by an earth sign. And I feel like this earth sign was cut out of the picture. You made your person happy and left this person alone. And now this person is accusing you of possibly wanting... Um, 
a cancer or a Virgo. It says here summer, birthday, summer. So it could be a cancer. There could be someone in your energy that sits in nine of pentacles energy, pre empress energy. This person could be older. They could be well off financially. But it's like first your person was accusing you about this queen of pentacles. You got the queen of pentacles out of your life. And now they're claiming that you're in love with someone else. Okay, let's see here. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the Nine of Swords here and the Justice card. So I feel like, Leo, this is somebody that is just in very bad energy. This is someone that like almost kind of like wants revenge. They're stressed out. They're bugging out. You know, I, I feel like this is someone that may have some very serious insecurity issues. They could be a Libra possibly. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Leo, your person is accusing you of, you know, giving... The Six of Pentacles can talk about breadcrumbing one person and giving to another situation. So it's like... If you're late for, you know, coming home late from work, this person is accusing you that you're with this Queen of Cups energy. Or, you know, if, I don't know, like they're constantly thinking that you're with this Queen of Cups energy. I'm picking up strong, um, you know, Cancerian energy here, Aquarius energy, but it's like you cut one person out of your life to make this person happy. And now they're feeling threatened about this nine of pentacles energy. And they're giving you a lot of grief over this, a lot of grief over this. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the Empress here and we've got temperance. I feel that Leo, you spend a lot of time and energy telling this person to calm down. I'm committed to you and only you relax. You know what I'm saying? Um, everything is going to be okay. Like you spend a lot of time trying to calm this person down, but I don't think it works with the seven of wands and the queen of wands. I feel like this person is not listening to anything that you're saying. I feel like this person is kind of insistent that you're cheating on, on you're cheating on them do you understand with the eight of pentacles and the queen of swords this is someone that may spy on you while you're at work they may have location on you i mean this is someone that's really you know they're just over the top when it comes down to we've got the emperor and the five of wands yeah this is someone that's overly jealous and possessive overly jealous and possessive now mind you leo listen i don't know i mean this can be vice versa you take it as it resonates okay but this is somebody that is really like they're driving by someone's job they you know this is someone that they they're intimidated first they were intimidated by this person and now this next person is the problem and i feel like leo you're trying to do everything you can to tell this person that you're loyal to them that you're committed to them um but this person is very untrusting this is a very untrusting individual with the knight of swords and the high priestess when you're not looking this person jumps for your phone this person may follow you drive by your job you know i feel that with the ten of wands here uh leo you might be getting sick of it it's becoming a little too overbearing now tell me about the two of swords here for leo and the five of cups you're actually regretting that you cut off this queen of pentacles energy it's like it's getting to the point you're like you know i feel bad that i even cut this person off because i thought i was cutting off the queen of pentacles for peace you know what i'm saying but there is no peace because now we're we've moved on to this person over here tell me about the queen of pentacles please and the ace of swords and i feel like this queen of pentacles told you leo this queen of pentacles may have said listen you don't want to talk to me anymore you know for your relationship or the person that you're with okay no problem watch if it's not me it's going to be someone else with the star card here and the ten of swords leo i feel like you cut someone out of your life you ended something hoping to heal your relationship you made the decision to walk away from a situation assuming that with the king of wands energy and the chariot that you know you making the right decision would bring some type of peace and healing and security to your person but with the nine of pentacles and the ace of cups now you're being accused of being in love with this nine of pentacles energy. Energy. 
Tell me about the nine of swords here, please, for Leo and the and the five of swords. This who your person has their mind is chaotic. This is someone that has emotional outbursts. This is someone that may even wake you up in the middle of the night when you're sleeping to fight with you. Tell me about the justice card here and the 10 of pentacles. Leo, I don't even feel like you're doing anything. I feel like we got the king of pentacles under the deck. Um, I feel like you're just straight up minding your business is what I feel like. King of pentacles, the four of pentacles, mind Finding your business is what you're doing here. And I feel like this person just is consistently accusing you of, of giving attention or time to someone else. Tell me about the six of pentacles here for Leo and the high priestess. This is someone who truly believes in, you know, that secretly somebody is giving attention to this queen of cups slash pre empress energy. Yeah, look, seven of swords, the two of pentacles, and the devil. This is someone that is going insane because they have fear that you are moving towards this queen of cups energy. With the page of cups and the four of cups, Leo, I feel like this is you telling this empress energy, I don't want the Queen of Cups. I don't want the pre-empress. I don't want anyone. What I want is to stop having this conversation. And with the Six of Wands and Temperance, you're successful in the moment to bring peace to, you know, the situation. But I feel like then it starts all up again. Seven of Wands here and the Tower, you see? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like this person did not absorb anything that you just said. This person is claiming that you guys are married or in a relationship and that you are in a third party situation. And that's it. I mean, that's that, like this person is just constant, will not stop accusing you. Eight of Pentacles here and the Eight of Swords. Leo, you're starting to feel suffocated. You are starting to feel suffocated is what you're starting to, because this person is becoming too demanding to, they accuse too much. Queen of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. This person is, is asking too much of you. Like you're willing to invest in your connection. You're willing to do whatever you can to make sure that your person has peace in their mind and in their heart. But I really don't see you cheating or doing anything wrong here. And your person just keeps blowing up on you, saying really nasty things and accusing you of cheating. Tell me about this emperor, please. We've got the three of swords here. Tell me about the Five of Wands and the King of Cups. You know what this person is doing. I'm here. I'm sorry, Leo. So you know what this person's doing, Leo? Is they are actually pushing you towards this Queen of Cups energy. Because I'm showing the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups here, uh, which is a soul tie energy. So you may have, you know, chemistry with this person. But I feel like this person's actually going to push you to cheat, is what I'm feeling. I feel like this person, you, I mean, you've had enough. King of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. It's kind of like an energy of, listen, I'm trying to be loyal. I'm trying to be stable. I'm trying to, with the Four Swords, be chill. But you're getting exhausted here. You're really getting exhausted of trying to talk this person down, trying to work things out with this person. You're really getting tired of being accused. If you're going to be accused consistently, you're going to just end up going for it and doing it. Do you understand? And Leo, let that be a warning where if this is vice versa and you keep accusing your person, eventually they're actually going to do it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Tell me about the King and Queen of Cups, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups. Your person is, is you know, I, I feel like either you will end up cheating or your person will. Be careful because you might end up doing everything this person accused you of doing. 
You see what I'm saying? I I actually saw a meme about that. Like, hey, what are you up to? Oh, nothing. I'm doing everything you accused me of doing. It's freaking glorious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Leo, you know, if you're dealing with someone that's been accusing you, you're going to, you know, give them something to talk about. And Leo, please be advised that if you are continuously pounding on your person and accusing them, they're just going to end up cheating. So that this way, when you complain, you, you're complaining for a reason. Do you understand? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Take care.